Welcome back to the Myth Series In Depth. Today I will be playing and showing off the second secret mission in Myth 2 Soulblender called Limbs, Heads, and Smoking Craters. As the name suggests, this mission will be a lot of explosives and limbs will be flying everywhere. Tuesday, April 21st, near Soul Blighter's camp, west of the Cloud Spine. We are free, but not out of danger. In the confusion of the prison break, we stumbled upon some sort of assembly area. There are veritable mountains of satchel charges sagging under their own weight, presumably brought down from Stoneheim. The putrid carcasses of whites, harvested for their baneful polyps and tumors, are strewn everywhere. Cleavers, axes, and twisted bits of razor-sharp metal fill barrel after barrel and litter the ground. I shudder to think of the destruction Soul Blighter must have in mind. But now that destruction will be wrought on his own army. We will cause as much damage as we can, and then head south to Scales, or possibly to Seven Gates. Traveling through the Tain Shard has left us at a loss as to exactly where in the world we are. The only thing we know for sure is that we are to the west of the Cloud Spine. This journal really doesn't need much explanation and is pretty straightforward. Upon leaving Sopolator's camp by the alternate route, we have stumbled upon a sort of explosive storing area. Apparently, Soulblighter was using this area as a staging ground for his future attacks. The journal writer assumes that these explosives were brought over from the Dorvan stronghold of Stoneheim. This suggests that Stoneheim was likely where the dwarves constructed a lot of their satchel charges, grenades, and other explosives. It is likely where the mortars were first constructed also. Take a look at the Dwarven hero flavor text for Anvari, who we will see in a couple of missions from now. He had been a mathematician and engineer before the Great War. When Stoneheim fell to the goals and the university was destroyed, these skills served him well in the years to come. What else would the Dwarven University be developing besides mortars in the world of myth? The first journal image shows some of the legion that escaped from Soulblader's camp. They are still in danger even after escaping the camp, so that is why they look like they are on their guard, ready for a fight. The second journal image shows a goal getting ready to stab a white. He is bracing himself. The journal talks about how the whites are harvested for their baneful polyps and tumors. Perhaps this goal wants to cut off a tumor, or perhaps the goal has a way of killing the white safely without setting off an explosion, or at least somewhat safe. We see another journal image of the goal leading one of the whites by a rope. Since the whites are so stupid, the goals have to lead them around, and they likely want to keep some distance from them while they do it. There is one last journal image showing the Legion hiding while they look into Soulblighter's staging area. There are explosives everywhere. What was Soulblighter planning to do with all of these? Their narrator doesn't know exactly where he is, but he somehow knows that he is west of the Cloud Spine. If we take a look at the map for the mission, we see that we are somewhere near Tharsis. This is likely how he knows approximately where he is, since he can likely see the Cloud Spine and Tharsis. Seven Gates is the crossing through the Cloud Spine just south of Silver Mines, so he knows approximately where he is in the world map, just not exactly. Time for the mission. Destroy Soulblighter stockpiled weapons of mass destruction. Munitions, shacks, satchel charges, even the whites. The Dwarven explosive experts are necessary for this mission. Keep at least one alive. As important as this mission is, the war will continue even if you fail. As important as this mission is, the war will continue even if you fail. So what that last one is saying that if you fail the mission, um, you can still proceed from the lost screen. So they added yeah, that in the cool. game. Well, actually, in the original. Um, all their secret missions, you can just, um, you know, if you want to, you can skip the mission if it's too hard, right? You don't got to beat it in order to advance. So when we start the mission, there's going to be some enemies kind of coming down from over here, right? 
And so what we're gonna do go. is we're gonna kind of yeah. hit him in the back. Yeah. I move with our bowman. I move we'll see him soon. I move I'm surprised I haven't seen him yet. He might have already passed here. If you don't, I move I don't remember you getting a here on guard. Hmm. Where are they? Did I, did I let them pass by? Hold on a minute. Yeah. Where are you at, guys? I thought I saw somebody. There they are. Okay, so what I'd like to do is they like to put their malls in the front, right? And they have all these whites they're carrying by. So what I like to do is I like to hit them in the back, or from the side. Oh yeah, this is going to be sweet. I like the Bowman's quote. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna bring our bowman back. Over here. The bowman can kind of finish off these um, balls too. Stand clear. Stand clear. Step aside. Move over. Stand clear. There's three groups that come down. So this is the first one. It's best if you hit him from the back. I feel like, um, yeah, I move in. I move. Oh, okay. They're gonna come from right there. I didn't know they could come from there. So, I didn't practice this mission a lot because honestly, this mission is pretty easy. I move in. So I didn't know they could um, come from different spots right here. I thought it'd be the same every time, but apparently it's not. So we're gonna let them kind of. Let's go. Pass by a little bit. Oh, and there comes another group, so. We're gonna kinda retreat here. These guys have full health still. Yeah, we might be in trouble. We might be in trouble. Get out of the way! Yeah, uh, let's let's back up. We need to back up out of here. Let's go. Let's go. We got let's in a crappy go. position. Let's go. I'm moving. I think what I can do is I can hit this one group um, from the side and then run away. Yes. Yeah. We're just gonna let our reserves take care of them. Yes. That's right. They can take care of them. Let's go. Let's. We'll just retreat them this way so that they don't run into the group. Just go around here and then back. And then we'll wait for this group to pass by a little bit and then we'll shoot them from the side. It's best if you can attack them from the back because then the malls will kind of run back into the whites because they kind of run right at you. Yeah, yeah. Over. Yes. Yeah. 
There we go. All right. So we dealt with the three groups. So now we're done with that part. Okay. So now we're gonna get ready for this next group. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a group of goals and some soulless and some fetch up here. So we got a little way of dealing with them. We're gonna lay some satchel, like a line of satchels back to ours. That's probably all our satchels, huh? Yeah, four of them. I'm gonna take all of these units, yeah. put them back here. This guy. Yeah. I move. All right. So if you pass, um, get within like some certain area. I mean, I didn't check the scripting, but I know this is the way it works because of the way they react. As you get within a certain area, like up here, these units will kind of come at you. Yeah. So what Let's we can go. do is we can put this berserk way Let's over go. here and I put him up it. here, and you'll see these units will start to charge, right? Yeah. You can keep this berserk away, you know what I mean? This one fetch is going at him. But you see, so we could even run him away now. Yeah. Yeah. We don't yeah. attack. Okay. I'm moving. I'm moving. That's pretty much most of them. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh no. I'm moving. Yeah. Kill. Just go kill him. Dang it, I'm not trying Damn to move it. him. I'm trying to... Yeah, I don't want him going into the fetch, so I'm gonna run him back here. Just run this fetch Let's all the way go. back and we'll kill him. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Just save it real quick right here. This fetch will be coming around in just a minute. There we go. Alright, so he's taking go. Now we need to destroy Over this here. kind of yeah. satchels and cannonballs and stuff, yeah. but we'll do it later. Yeah. We'll come back because we might want to use those satchels, you know. Yeah. Maybe. Let's go. She. Yeah. 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 There's a bunch of like, I don't know if it's this corner. It might be in the next one. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go. Over There's here. like a bunch of. I think it's around I'm the next moving. corner. Yeah. 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 It's the next one. Let's go. There's a bunch of goals with um, cannonballs that they'll throw at you that will explode. Let's go. I'm moving. And they spread out all over, over up here. here. I'm moving. All over the place. So we're going to do a lot of attacking ground, you know, where the goal's going. Oh, yeah. That one did explode. Probably shouldn't be fast forwarding. Like 
like a hole. There we go. Let's save it. We'll just keep killing them. It's not honestly that hard. You couldn't like run into the wall, so I kind of threw it there in case he ran back. If you see what I mean. That cannon blew up in midair. Kind of get close there. I was kind of lazy. I didn't want to like micromanage my yeah, dwarves to cool. like throw their grenades at different oh, times dear. and stuff. But that's I'm really what I should have done. There's more I'm up moving. here. That's not all of them. Yeah, over here. I'm moving. Casualties. He would dodge, wouldn't he? What a punk. I'm moving. Let's go. I'm moving. Yeah. I'm moving. Alright, come on back. We're not gonna mess around this time. Stop, stop fast forwarding. Okay, let's see if there's any more. Any more of you, uh, punk door or punk goals out there? Oh, there's one. There's a couple more. That'd be awesome if that hit him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, that was glorious. That, that, I can't believe that happened. Yeah. Over now, if here. it would have killed him, that would have been epic. Let's go. Didn't kill him. Let's go. Okay, so that's all I'm the, moving. that's all the goals down here. Let's go. Let me come up here. Main group of forces up here. We can kind of see them now. They kind of show up. They're all practicing their um, their weapons and stuff. Lots of pus and stuff going on. So we'll have to deal with that army. First, we're gonna come over here though. We're gonna save that group for last. And look what we got over here. We got a bunch of soulless guarding some whites. You know what I mean? So, I feel like fire arrows are the way to go here. All right. Ready. Moving. All right. Got it. Move over. So you can actually like burn the fence down and you see this like kind of white light coming out right now. Sometimes they'll run into the air part of it. And then that just kills all the solace. Over here. Some of these archers are really hurting. I have more healers. Heals? No. There's some more like herbs laying on the ground by this. Like down here. This is, I know there's that one. I think there might be some more. So these these whites will actually like rush us. So we kind of want we don't want to press in too much. We kind of will. I'm moving. They'll eventually start rushing you. Yeah. I'm moving. Let's go. Over here! I'm moving. 
Gotta be careful with this guy. I think we actually killed most of the whites. Usually there's more alive than... There's only like three more. That's actually really crazy that we killed that many. Let's see if there's any more up here. I don't think so. Yeah, we killed them all. All right, so now we just got Let's that go. last group Let's left. Go. I'm moving. Yeah. Yeah. And the way to do it is to lay like a line of satchels down, just coming out in a straight line down. Let's go. I'm moving. And there's satchels all over the place, so. Let's go. And then we're gonna fetch them with the you know berserk and just. Because they kind of come out at like different times, you know what I mean? So, kind of get spread out. So what we're just going to do is I'm just going to pass forward it a little bit or quickly pick up these satchels. And like lay a ton down. You know, I could heal my units. There's some herbs around here, or mandrake roots, but you know, I really don't need to. Move here, move there. Yes. So we're going to get each one eight, and then we're going to lay a bunch of satchels down. Yes, sir. And then, after we get okay. like a good line down, I'm not, like you could go really overboard, you know what I mean, and get make it really long so you kill them all at once. I'm probably not going to go that crazy just because, because you guys don't want to wait that long, right? <laughs> I want to make sure they're close enough ah. that the next one explodes. bunch of these satchels in this pile you like can't pick up because you're supposed to blow up this pile but you can't just lay satchels all over the map unfortunately okay basically we're using soul blighter's own yes, own explosives sir. to kill his army move here, move there. it's quite glorious isn't it Could like lay a line in between these, but I don't know. I'm being kind of lazy, to be honest. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make this quick for you guys. I'm trying not to drag this on. Okay. I just kind of pick them up until they can stop grabbing them. Make up your mind. Yes. Okay. What? Yes. Move here. Move there. I think um, we're getting pretty close. I think maybe I'll lay down one more, one more stack. Yes, sir. Mike up your mind. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. I think he likes 
glitching on trying to yeah. grab them. That's kind of funny. It's like, ah, I can't get it. Oh, we got it. Move here, move there. <laughs> Make up your mind. Yes, what now? Okay. All right, almost there, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. This is part of the joys of this level is pulling stuff up, though. <laughs> All right, dwarves. Lay down your last group of satchels. Okay, none of you have any satchels left, right? Yeah. What now? Okay. Let's go. You know what? Let's heal. Let's heal up some of our units real quick. There, we got a few mandrake roots. Go heal up some of these archers. There. We might not even need that, but you know. Yeah, I guess moving? it's I are guess it's moving? good to do, I suppose. Let's go, well, let's go fetch these I'm units. Moving. So we want all our units to be in a straight line down this, so that way they'll tend to go on this. Hopefully they don't like start coming down here and kinda of going like this. We might have to maybe we'll put them over to the Right, just a little bit to try to encourage them to come in here because they're pushed up against the wall over here, so they're gonna come straight down over here, right? But over here, I'm a little worried that they might come down the angle, but whatever. Over here, yeah, I'm not too worried about it to be honest. I'm moving. Let's go. I'm moving, yeah, and because they kind of like spread out. So we definitely didn't kill them all. Let's go. Ah, oh, there's a lot more left than I was. Ah. Might have to lay some more satchels, guys. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I didn't place them in a bad spot. I might have to, because then I would have to move them all. <laughs> eh, I think we can make it work. I have an idea. I'm gonna place more at the mouth, at the top. Yes, sir. Make up your mind. If that makes sense. Because we need to get, we need to kill more of those walls. Because we're definitely not gonna get no casualties if we don't take out most of those walls. Even if we just like dent, kill, hurt them a bunch, like and don't actually kill them, like that's fine. That'd be fine too. Ah, uh, maybe that's a little too close. And I gotta grow that those satchels again. <laughs> oh, oh no. The time consuming satchel grabbing. Move here, move there. Let me know if you guys are getting bored of watching me grab satchels.
We can't go up much, so let's just go like here. And let's like lead the uh, satchels a little bit. Uh, let's go grab one more. We're gonna make the trail to the satchels a little bit longer. Yeah. Might as well. I guess we're gonna use up most of these. When I practice, I definitely place these a lot more efficient. You know, my mistake was, rather than really thinking about where I was placing them, I was just trying to place them quickly. You know what I mean? That was a dumb move by me. Of course that's not going to work, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try this. Try putting our archers down Let's here. Go. We're gonna like create a little trail of satchels. Over here. I'm moving. Okay, there we go. I think this will be much better because like. Yeah. The guys, the Let's goals go. that come down here, yeah. we can deal with Let's with our Zurichs. I think yeah. they have some plus, but they should run in a straight line. I'm moving. The position is they should run a straight line down here, yeah. and I'm this moving. will kill like Let's most go. of the models yeah. and stuff. And it's all that stuff part of the back. Yeah. yeah. I want to see it explode. You can see, you can see lots of stuff was dying, so I think this is going to work well. I don't know how this soul has survived. It only took a little bit of damage. He must have been like off to the side or something. Okay, let's see if there's anything left. Yeah, a few more. Yes. I want some fetch. They're like way behind. Okay. Let's go. I'm moving. Over here. Okay, yeah, we can go blow up this other stuff. Now that we got rid of them. And go blow this up. Okay, it's like a crater. Come over here. You can blow up this wagon. I shouldn't pass forward so you guys can see the glorious explosion, right? Make a hole. And then we can blow up this. One of the satchels, like it's fun seeing all this stuff explode, isn't it, guys? All right, so now we got one more thing to explode. Almost done. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Over here. Over here. It's more mandrake roots we don't need, but there's some solace on top of this little. And pull up that house. We gotta kill this um these solas. So one thing I did never realized before is to blow this little shack up, you have to throw it like through this door. 
Because like I was always like trying to throw it, blow it up all over the place, but you have to throw it in the door. Um, so, you know, there's a couple ways we could do yeah. this. Let's go. We could try to run up a dwarf and juke all around and get in there. Something I did that was really easy was I just sent a berserk like this. And it seems like they really like to focus on him, so we can just send our archers in. And they like don't seem to target our archers. Usually the Solus will attack somebody else when you do this. They'll try to get your archers. These archers like really key on him, so it really makes it easy. It's kind of weird. So we gotta throw it in through the door. I was like trying to lay satchels all around it and blow it up and stuff because I didn't realize that before. I remember doing that in the past, but you just gotta throw it in the door. It's that easy. The windscreen shows the dwarves cheering as they explode one of the mounds of explosives. It looks like they're at the end of one of the canyons. One of the goals is dead at their feet. The lost screen shows the goals throwing the legion carcasses into a wagon to be hauled off. They are likely to turn these carcasses into thrall or possibly whites. There are several entertaining things the units will say during the mission. When you first see the whites at the beginning of the mission, there are several things your bowmen might say. One of these will be picked randomly. Oh my, do you see that? Is that what I think it is? Oh yeah, this is going to be sweet. That's, it's just beautiful. I'm sorry guys, but, but I, I think I'm going to cry. When you blow up the house, one of the dwarves has something to say about it. They blowed up real good. When you blow up the pile of satchels, one of the dwarves will also have something to say about that. Whoa, wake the light down, bailing about this one. Balin was a Pathfinder dwarf in Myth the Fallen Lords. There are also several sound files that I don't think can be activated because they are not referenced within the script for the mission. Move it! That's mine! Mine, 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 mine! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give look out, look out! Wah! Well, that is it for this mission. Bungie did a good job on this secret mission as it is more entertaining than difficult. We will be getting back to the story for the game in the next mission, The Wall, where we will be defending a dam against the enemy. We only got four more missions, and they are all some of the best missions within the Myth 2 Soulblader game. Bungie saved the best for last.